Alright, first impressions. I'm excited. I'm impressed. This is cool. And it's, it's gonna be just so fun to mess around with. And boy, was it a journey. Oh, hi! <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna punch this apple. Oh, we're going. We're, we're going. No, no, no. I should just fix my camera. Wow, this tool has been absolutely so fun. Let's learn more about it. Hello, gems. So we are diving in looking at the new Rococo AI camera capture tool. It's so cool. It's amazing. It records your animation with you just moving around without any heavy equipment, like buying really expensive mocap equipment, which is great and a goal for all of us, I'm sure. I mean, one day maybe I'll be able to get a really cool mocap suit, but this is something we've all been waiting for to be able to skip heavy tech and to be able to just dive in, create animation. So I'm gonna show you how it works, give you a little tutorial, and then I'm gonna see if I can implement it with my 3D VTuber model, Sapphire, and we're gonna see how it goes. So I'm really excited. Let's dive straight into how this tool works. Also, side note, if you're like, what is going on with Sapphire's room and where is her blue hair? Well, I'm going through a lot of changes in real life right now, so which I'll hopefully be able to make some update videos on in the future, but don't worry, I promise I am well as ever and excited to keep creating videos. Now let's hop in on how to actually use it. So at first glance, here's the Rococo Video Free AI Motion Capture Tool. I will link this down below and you'll be able to hop straight in by clicking try it out. Here are going to be your scenes. This is the scene I made you saw in the very beginning. So the first step is we will click create a new scene and we will call this Test. Actually, no, I'm gonna make this legit. This is gonna be magical, magical spin sapphire. I have an idea, I have an idea. We're gonna choose our video source and I'm actually going to record with my camera. So you can do either. You can upload a video you've already shot or you can upload a new one with your camera. Transformation. All right, I still literally have not taken a sip of this tea. Ah, perfect temperature. We are going to be doing a live video and I'm gonna do like a magical girl spin. I'm gonna try like, let's see. We're gonna try like, we're gonna do like a magical girl transformation. So we're gonna try that and we're gonna, we're gonna see how it goes. So I went on recording magical girl transformations and then it was ready to upload and completed. Oh yeah, it's done. Okay, so preview animation. We need to make sure we open Rococo Studio next. You should have a download Rococo Studio vi uh, button here if you haven't downloaded it already. I have downloaded it, so when you download it, make sure you run the installer and such and everything should get set up nice and dandy. Awesome, once you get it rolling, you should see your recently added scenes. This is the one we just did, Magical Spin Sapphire. This is the one I did earlier. So we can go ahead and open this scene, load it in. And next, what you'll do is click on your recording here and you'll double click. And it looks like my leg spins. We're gonna see how that goes. Oh, oh man, the leg spin went pretty well. And <laughs> the fallback, the fallback. Okay, so we're gonna use scroll wheel to zoom out and you can use right mouse click to like kind of go around. So let me bring this timeline back here and I'm gonna click space bar to click play. Magical girl transformation, wah, fall. Looking cute, looking cute, Oh, cute. We got the hip pop, nice. So once you have the animation ready to go, you will click over to this tab that says export and I did an FBX and we'll go ahead and select the Rococo Newton to start here. You'll be able to mess with the other ones to see what's gonna work best if you want to use it for any models or any rigging outside of this. And we'll go ahead and click export clips. After you export the clip, you can open the folder to see where it's saved. Here it is. I'm going to rename this magical, magical girl. FBX and then I'm gonna move it to my desktop. Now, as I mentioned earlier, my goal was to get the magical girl transformation animation onto my Vroid model in Blender and I spent all day working on this with uh, my great friend Super Voximus and here is how it went. Please pick up, please pick up. Dude, come on. Oh, hello? Hello? This works just like with your webcam? Yeah, or you can upload a recorded video, pre-recorded video. Is this software free? Yeah, it's free. Anybody can use it. Anybody can use it. <laughs> Why am I not using this? For you? Yeah. <laughs> so we really dove in and tried to attach the rig to a Vroid model. We tried a hundred billion different things, and this is what ended up happening when we tried to attach the rig to a model naturally. <laughs> <laughs> We also certainly got a lot of good laughs out of just trying to make everything work, which is one of the funnest parts of honestly just messing with cool tools like this. <laughs> we went through 
through all of the shenanigans just to figure out later while I was streaming some groundbreaking news about making this work for Vroid models. There's a Rococo plugin for Blender. What? No, there is not this whole time. Hey guys, Saya here. Vox just showed me a super easy two-click way to retarget your animations while I was editing this video live on stream. If you want to follow behind the scenes progress on my videos, catch me live on twitch.tv slash sapphire. Don't forget it's a forward slash. Also, this is incredibly embarrassing guys, but at least we can add animations to our VRM models now. Yay! Here we are on the Rococo page to download their plugin. So you'll click on this link right here and it will download, begin downloading it. Click the little arrow, show in folder, and we can see the zip in there now, great. You will navigate to your Blender. I'm using Blender 3.0. And we'll go to Edit, Preferences, and you will do, go to Add-ons, click Install, and then select the zip folder, Rococo Studio. And then it should show up here and you'll click this check mark. Make sure that's checked if it isn't. If your blender is freezing or anything, just give it a few moments. There will be a little arrow poking out around here on the side that you'll click to open to get these little side menus. And then you'll navigate down to the Rococo tab and you'll want to sign in using the account you signed in with when making your animation with your camera earlier. Next, you'll go up to File, Import, and we will do VRM. If you don't have this option, you'll have to install the plugin for importing VRMs. You can check out this video. I'm going to link to a card above or below to be able to get that plugin. Next, I'm going to bring in my VRM file. Awesome, she's in. And next, we want to bring in the armature from Rococo Studio that we exported earlier. We're going to go to Import FBX. We're going to grab the one and make sure over here on the right, drop down this armature menu and click Automatic Bone Orientation. Otherwise, it will import very weirdly. We'll go to Import. Now we have both of the meshes. We're going to drag this reference file into the source and we're going to grab the current armature right here, this armature, into the target. And we'll click build bone list. Awesome. And finally, we're going to click retarget animation. And it, this will take a second. Let Blender run and do its thing. After that's all set and ready to go, you should be able to click space bar. And now you can see your animation. We're going to delete the old armature. I just selected it and deleted it. And now we have our animation for our character. Let's go. So you can do that. There may be some little adjustments and fixes you want to do and such here and there, but this is a huge step to being able to use this tool for Vroid models. Thank you so much to Rococo for sponsoring this video. I had so much fun using this new tool and I'm super excited to see it get updated over time and how creators use it in general. Make sure you check out the link down below if you're interested in learning more about this tool. I'm excited to see what you create and I'll see you next time on the Sapphire Star. Bye!